Hey, I'm Jim Brogan, and I tell you what, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm excited about today. By the way, before I show you what I'm cooking, I do want to tell you, if you are a vegetarian, you probably don't need to watch this video. All right, let me show you what we're cooking today. This is a 2.8 pound tomahawk ribeye steak. Look at that. I mean, if you're serious about meat, you're serious about cooking a tomahawk ribeye. That, look, look, look how thick this is. Look at how thick that thing is. Now here's what I'm gonna do. I have this special shaved sea salt that was a gift to me recently. Shout out to David and Rachel and Reese for that. And we got the dog in the picture and we're gonna hope she doesn't start eating the steak. Now I'm gonna start off, I've not used this, this is brand new. So I'm gonna try, I'm just gonna sprinkle this. Oh, it's gonna have that little bit of crunch on it. I have a feeling this is gonna become my go-to salt, maybe even better than kosher salt. I'm gonna get a good sprinkle here on the top of this big old thick ribeye. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper. Now I know some purists would say only use the salt, but you know what, I like all the flavor and I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic salt, garlic powder, excuse me, just garlic powder gives it a lot of flavor. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna pack that in just a little bit. Now I'm gonna turn it over to the other side and I'm gonna give it some more salt and more pepper and more garlic powder. Okay, so I've got my tomahawk on the grill. I've got a thermometer in it over on this side. And you'll see I've got these two zones here. This zone here is indirect heat. That zone over there is direct heat, and I've got the grill grates. So not only are they getting direct heat and more heat, they've got the grill grates, which naturally warm up the meat, or, or excuse me, it's the surface. Because when I sear, I wanna be pushing 500 degrees. I don't wanna be much over that, because I am gonna do a light dusting of canola oil, and it'll, it'll go bad at, if you get up over too, too far over 500 degrees. But that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna close her up, and I'm thinking it's gonna take probably close to 30 minutes for this to come up to 115 degrees. Okay, we just hit 115 on internal. Now, believe it or not, this took about 45 minutes at 375 on the indirect side. And now we're gonna move it over here and sear it. I've got just a light, I'm gonna push down just a little bit. We've got a light coating of canola oil in there. And we're gonna sear this for about two minutes each side. Okay, we've seared for two minutes, and now we're gonna turn it on the other side and sear the other side. And man, you can really hear it now. It's really searing now. Okay, this is the finished product. You know, it was kinda of hard to see out there. It was getting kinda of dark out. And you can see the sear now. See how nice and crusty that is? That's what you want, a really good sear. That's the first time I've done it on the opposite side of the, the, the underside of those grill grates where it's more of like a flat sear pan. So I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna let this rest for 10 minutes. It's already been seven. So I'm gonna let it rest for three more minutes. Let those juices soak back into the meat. Don't wanna cut it too quickly. And then I'm gonna slice into it. All right, here's the finished product. I've cut this up, and as you see, it's a good medium rare to medium. If anything, I could have pulled it maybe three degrees sooner. Of course, it's always gonna be a little bit more cooked on the ends. Looks great right through here. I am noticing, you see how it's a little bit thicker here on the cook. That was the side that was closest to the, the heat. And I had my grill grate, uh, or excuse me, I had my grill laid down on the very, very bottom because I wanted to be able to get that hot sear on the grates um, when I did the sear. But you see, it did cook a little bit more right here. Ideally, I'd want that side to look more like this. But other than that, it's cooked really, really nicely. So now is the real test. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. That's one of the best cuts of meat I've ever had in my life. I'm going to have another one. Mmm. 
holy cow. That's some great meat. Try this at home. Thanks for tuning in to Smoking with Jim.